Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how to power a refrigerator. If you've got a rolling brownout or your power goes off for a while, this is a really inexpensive way to do it. You go into eBay, you find yourself a UPS. This one is 1300 watt UPS. The batteries have gone bad so they sell them cheap because they need replacement batteries. These are just a real basic lithium iron phosphate battery. Just go find the best deal you can on a couple of these. I think I paid like 160 each for these, but they have come down in price since I bought these. And then what you're gonna do is see I made this little wiring giddy up here. This is the where the batteries go in here. So you got your batteries. It has two that after batteries that go in there. And they plug into here and it comes with another little connector so you get your 24 volts. So this is a 24 volt. That just plugs into there. And we bring this over, hook it up to this. We go positive, negative. This needs to be a little tight. Over to this side. So these are 12 volt batteries. So what we're doing here is we're hooking our positive to our negative, and that gives us 24 volts. We might be able to find a 12 volt UPS, but I kind of doubt it. So I bought this to power the Starlink, the power outages, and then I realized, you know what? This thing can actually power a refrigerator. Plug it in. There you go. Since the batteries are fully charged, put 120 volts AC. Well, this is our refrigerator. Now these have a few different hookups on the back here. You've got your battery backup and just some straight through where it's just a surge protector. We will have battery backup for our refrigerator. So our batteries are sitting at 26.2 starting out this experiment, which is 13.1 volts per battery. The refrigerator is on. It is consuming 86 watts right now. Batteries are fully charged. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the power. We're now running on battery power. We're now consuming 119 watts. So it looks like this UPS uses somewhere around 40 watts of power. It's 10 o'clock and 10 minutes on Sunday. We're gonna see how long this runs. It is 10.10 on Monday morning now. Fridge is still on. It's been 24 hours. Our battery is at 26. 25.9, 26 flashing back and forth. Nothing's on right now. The fridge isn't taking any power. Fridge is still on. Batteries, 25.8. We're losing a little power in these batteries. It's been 48 hours. It is 10, 10, Tuesday morning. Of course, that's still flashing, saying it's low battery. I'm taking zero watts right now because the fridge is not actually running the compressor right now well, let's see how long this thing goes 48 hours that's pretty good power still on everything's frozen completely frozen 24.7 volts on these batteries i'm a little bit late getting down here it's actually 11 10 right now that's 73 hours this UPS has been running this fridge. Crazy. All right, that was pretty cool. We went over 75 hours with these two batteries. I thought for sure 24 hours, I got to 48. I was like, wow, that's doing pretty good. And the, the third day, I was like, wow. But over 75 hours on two batteries. You could add two more batteries, then you could go 150 hours. Or you could add some solar. I think it could go indefinitely with two 250 watt panels, so probably do a video with that. But yeah, pretty cool. 50 bucks, power fridge. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next video.